Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we will be cutting out all of our patterns. You might want to get a tape measure, have a pencil or a pen that can wash out of your fabric, or at least not bleed through. Some really good scissors that won't, um, that aren't dull in spots, and fabric. So a quick Google search for our first project shows all these really neat little pouches. Ours is not going to be fancy whatsoever, it's just a little introduction into getting comfortable sewing. We're literally going to just be making a square basically, like a tiny almost like a tiny pillow. Now you can use whatever fabric you want. You can use an old t-shirt or you can repurpose an old bag that's got a tear in it and make a cool new bag out of it. <clears throat> so these folds are just about the right size that I need. I'll leave a little bit of a seam allowance Cut it off here. And then I'll just go ahead and cut along these seams. And you'll need two rectangles, one for each side. And if you do want a liner, you can use two separate colors, or if you want it to be reversible, you can do super, two separate colors. And you will have four rectangles, unless it's just folded in half, then you'll still only have two. The next project that we will be sewing will be our fabric face masks. As you can see, there's different kinds you can make. You can do folded ones or you could do fitted ones. I plan on doing a fitted one. I think they look nicer and they fit to your face a lot better. Depending on the size of your face, you'll use different measurements. There's lots of different things that you can do. So you can pick your favorite one. But as a general rule of thumb, if you're going with a pattern like this, you measure from your ear to, to your nose and from your chin up to the bridge of your nose. And then just kind of curve around. It might take a few tries, some trial and error. I've already sketched out my pattern. This is the top of the nose going around to the bottom of the chin. It's very light, but that goes over my cheek. There's a line there, giving some seam allowance to fold it in, make a nice edge. And just a straight line there under the chin. The best fabrics to use, according to the CDC, will be a high stitch cotton fabric. It's more dense. So if you hold it up to a light, you can't really see the light through it. A lot of the fabrics I have, you can very easily see light through them. I mean, you can see everything through these fabrics. But I've also got these bra pads from bras that I took them out of which I think will be a nice filter for me. They fit my face perfectly. <laughs> a 
cloth face coverings should fit snugly but comfortably against the side of the face. Be secured with ties or ear loops. I have, where'd it go? I have elastic that I'll be using. You could get a ponytail or a ribbon or any kind of string as long as it's not too irritating for your skin. Include multiple layers of fabric. That gives you better coverage. A more thorough filter. Allows for breathing without restriction. You don't want to put plastic on your face or leather on your face. You gotta be able to breathe through it. Which is why they suggest cotton. And be able to be laundered and machine dried without damage or change to shape. So you want to make sure it's a decent quality fabric. It ain't gonna tear or fall apart in the wash. I also have um, those garbage bag ties and I also have pipe cleaners that I plan on tucking into the bridge of the nose when I sew it. You can do that as well, that way it can fit your nose snugly. You can follow this pattern if you want to. The next project that we'll be doing is a sewn cat toy. I have some catnip that I will be stuffing my cat toy with. You could just stuff it with some cotton or extra fabric. It's gonna be a very simple pattern. We're just gonna make a little mouse, like a moon-shaped mouse kinda. And it'll be 2D kinda like that. It's not too complex. I have a fold line here. So instead of cutting out two shapes, I'm just gonna use this to my advantage. And I'm just gonna go along this. My mouse shape. And then I'll sew on an ear. My pencil keeps breaking. This is a very old pencil and it's very cheap. Graphite Pencil Co. I'll need two ears. I'll just go ahead and cut it while it's folded. And then the tail, you can do a piece of fabric. Actually, you know what? I've got some extra yellow. I'll make this two colors. Cut this little piece here. Fold that in half and I'll make the ears. Big mouse ears. Is that too big? That's no, perfect. It's gonna be tucked in, by the way, a little bit. It'll be tucked in, not that much. And then I'll make a tail as well. Also be tucked in a little bit. So that'll be pretty cute. When you're cutting your patterns, make sure that you leave about a fourth of an inch 
or more around your pattern. So I actually cut out here because here is where we're going to sew. So cut outside of the pattern. Up there. Because we will be sewing that right there. Our last project is going to be a little bit more complex, but not really. We're going to do a little 2D teddy bear. Similar to that, I guess. That's pretty cute. Just a little square or circle. I'm going to use two colors. You're going to want two layers. So fold the outsides in. This is some scrap fabric that I have. Draw out your teddy bear. Maybe a teardrop shape. So that's our body. Can you see it? Ears, arms, feet. And we're going to need two layers of this. And we're also going to have a tail, which I'll make over here. Again, fold the outsides in. I'm just going to make a little half circle. That might be too big. I might make it a little smaller, but... Tail. Is that the right tail? T-A-L-E. I think T-A-L-E is how you spell story tail. So stupid. <laughs> so there's that. Then take another fabric and we're gonna make the belly. So I want the belly. And this is just gonna be a patch, so you only need one layer. Belly's right about there. So that. And I'm just gonna make kind of a triangular ovular shape. It's going to be the little belly patch and then we're going to sew out, or not sew, we're going to cut out farther away and then we're going to make little snips every so often to tuck in. And then I'm going to make little ear patches as well. How big are the ears? sew to there, maybe. And then a little mouth, a little snoop. Whoa, whoa, pencil's getting away from me. A little snoop right there. So 
So I've got my body, which I don't need to label. I've got my tail, which I went ahead and labeled so that I can remember what it is. And I've got the sheet folded in half so that I only have to sew around this part right here. I don't have to worry about sewing that part. And then here I've labeled all these parts. There's the ear. I'll need to make a second piece though. Here's the mouth. And this as well as the belly. We're gonna sew, or cut. I keep saying sew instead of cut. We're gonna cut around it and then we're gonna make little cuts around all the curves so that they tuck in more smoothly. I've got that labeled, that's the mouth, that's the belly. So the belly is gonna go right here, mouth's gonna go right here, ear pieces will go here. You can add little paw prints if you want. That's it for that. Also, for the eyes, I have some buttons. I'm sure you've got some old shirts that don't need buttons anymore, shirts you don't wear, or even just spare buttons laying around your house. We can just use these for the eyes and nose. I'm excited to see how everything turns out. I'm excited to see your work. I hope you have a great day and happy crafting.